Welcome to my channel Teddy Bear. It's me Pranika. Today in this video we are going to see all about a fraction. Before going to the topic proper, just take a pencil and put it in a glass without water. What are you observing now? There's no change in the pencil. Now pour water into the glass. What are you observing now? What are you observing now? The pencil appears to be broken, right? But there is no change in the pencil. Is this some magic? What could be the reason for this? Now, take a coin and put it in a glass of water. What are you observing now? What are you observing now? The coin appears to be raised and the depth appears to be shallow. What could be the reason for this? Okay, one more thing. If you go and stand near the swimming pool, it appears shallow than it really is. Why is it so? Believe me, it's really interesting. By the end of this video, you will be knowing the answer for this. Let us go into the video. Actually, refraction is the bending of light. The simplified definition of refraction is It's a bending of light when it travels obliquely from one medium to another. Why I mention obliquely? I will tell you later. Medium can be air, glass or water. For refraction to happen, the material needs to be transparent. That's why refraction happening in a raindrop. If you haven't watched my rainbow video, please watch that too. Why is the medium light dance? What the medium do with the light? The answer is, it actually changes the speed of light. Greater the change in speed, greater the bending of light. Example 1. When light travels from air to glass medium at an angle, it bends. To make it clear, where the light enters into the medium is case lens. The ray is called case lens ray. The deviated light is called the refracted light. We draw a perpendicular line on the case of incidence. That is normal. The deviated light bends towards normal. If we draw an angle to the normal, this is called the angle of incidence. This is called angle of refraction. The same thing happens when we put a pencil in a glass of water. Can we make the light away from a normal? Yes, you can. Since in our example, light travels from air to glass, that is, from medium to denser medium. Everyone knows that glass is denser than air. The light bends towards normal. If you flip the scenario, let us see what will happen. Now, example 2. When light travels from denser to rarer medium, that is glass to air. Light bends away from the normal. Now, the angle of incidence is lesser than angle of refraction. Okay, now let us see. Let us see what will happen if the light rays pass perpendicular to the medium. It changes the speed. But it won't bend. Refraction won't happen. Now, here the angle of incidence is zero. That's why I mentioned obliquely in the definition. Okay, what we saw is angle of incidence is greater than angle of refraction. Angle of incidence is lesser than angle of refraction. Angle of incidence is zero. Okay, but what will happen if light travels from denser to incident exceeds. Critical angle. Critical angle. What is that? Wait for my next video. Hope you enjoyed this topic. Soon I will see you in next interesting